All right. You might ask, where have we found ourselves now? Because, heck, I don't even know. You've made it hard <laughs> to find your place, Flues. <laughs> uh, so I came over here to actually prank Flues, but it seems like someone, <laughs> someone has already pranked him. He has an ambulance or what? No, no, a police car with, an, with a siren in front of his house. <laughs> so I don't know what that's about, but um, yeah, I'm going to prank him as well because uh, if you haven't seen uh, in his episode, I think it was six or seven of his uh, UHC, he actually called me a good player in UHC whilst I find that <laughs> quite hilarious because I'm terrible at PvP. <laughs> But uh, I, uh, but I, I thank him. I thank him greatly for the for the title, <laughs> coming from an, a UHC veteran like Flues. That's yeah, it's flattering. <laughs> but um, yeah, we acquired some diamonds in that UHC vintage craft UHC that were kind of cheaty. <laughs> so I've brought them over here. And I am going to hide him around his base in the ground <laughs> to uh, to poke a little to poke a little fun at him for uh, uh, for, for that for finding the cheaty diamonds and of course winning the UHC. So uh, and uh, and I'm gonna thank him with a sign. It'll, it'll be nice and dandy. Let me just hide these diamonds, and uh, I hope he uh, gets rid of this. <laughs> the police car pretty quick it's kind of annoying <laughs> and I don't even live here <laughs> alright we're gonna make this quick because the police car is being really annoying <laughs> dearest flues oh great player of UHCs please accept my thank you gift for never have I been called a good UHC player before <laughs> since spoilers we won the vintage craft UHC with some cheaty diamonds however I decided to bring those over Around your base, I have replaced 10 stone blocks with di diamond ore blocks. Also, you might want to do something about the police car outside. Happy searching! Tasty beacons. So now that I'm back from Fluce's base, which was, by the way, very well marked in the nether. Could easily find it, didn't have to uh, travel through a portal and then just head on over there through the overworld because I knew the coordinates, but I didn't know where the portal was. We are going to back to... Uh, to my to my base, I would want to say, but uh, it's not my base. It's shared, with, of course, with the lads, which is up here, where a lot of bases are actually, and then just through here, and then oh, would you look at that? It's very clearly marked. The lads, tasty bacon's, Haribo, Bayfish. It's very obvious that this path. Leads to my base. <laughs> Shared with Harrison and Bailey. You don't need another side at the portal to mark it off. Because there is only one portal at this path. <laughs> I just wanted to say that in case anyone would find it hard to find our base. <laughs> uh, I'm just messing with you. Flues did, make a, Flues did make a good point in this video that we haven't marked any of our bolts in the area. And it, that might be useful to do because there's a lot of builds there. Uh, we are surrounded by everyone. <laughs> so, fine. <laughs> I mean, uh, should we mark this too? I only have one sign at me, only. The lads. Haribo. Bayfish. Tasty bacons. There you go. Now it's obvious that this castle is. Probably ours. <laughs> Ta da! He went all the way over to there. Which I find. Okay, I mean, if you're in here, okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's not marked either. It's, it's, it is ours, by the way, Flues. It is. Um, oh, there's a baby zombie somewhere. Oh, they're probably down here. Um. But there's a lot of builds in the area. So I get it. I get it. Some mm, simple mind. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> People would get lost easily. Alright. Uh, so what did I want to do today? 
as well is work on some wall designs up on top and uh, see what look what would look the best now I have a couple of designs in mind and I'm going to build them out and I uh, think uh, I, I just want to see them built in like incorporated into the castle before I can decide uh, which one is the best so let me collect some materials for that I'll be right back also you totally didn't walk past this shulker box that said Tasty's building box did you flows huh huh <laughs> All right, let's start some work here. So what I wanted to do is raise this pillar by three more, two, three, and put some more of these up here, and then adding that. So it goes in a little bit, and then add a stair here so that this wall also comes in a little bit. So we have like a, a, a clear pillar right there. <clears throat> and after that, we go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is, you know, two thirds of the tower, basically. And then after that, uh, we fill in this wall. Oh, I didn't need to fall up there. Which we do with some smooth stone and some andesite. Now, did I grab andesite? I did. Very nice. I actually thought of something today. <laughs> um, mostly andesite, uh, but some some uh, some smooth stone in there will give us some nice different textures. If you uh, catch my drift, basically. Uh, and the side. Oh no, we need to uh, make a pillar here as well. And a pillar, and then another one. Wait, did Simon get a new skin? Oh yeah, just rainbows. <laughs> uh, all right, and I think we wanted to add this right there right, let me fix this up so that we can uh, right yeah and then this one as well Two, three and a stair no nope, that's one too high um, also if you're wondering about my tools by the way this one's cost honesty uh, because it's a silk touch pickaxe. <laughs> it's uh, they are called after virtues, I guess. Uh, this one should be called charity, but it's only fortune two. Actually, we need a fortune three still. Uh, I don't know about this one. This one I got after I got killed by the wither, <laughs> which was in an episode, by the way. Uh, and tasty bowcons is uh, basically always my bow because it's a funny pun. <laughs> one. And eight. Now, I might need to work out something about this because it's. I think I'm gonna just go one behind it and go like this. Stone, stone, side, stone. No, that's a pattern. I don't want a pattern. Um, and then just finish it off with the the the, the, the upside. The, uh, of the ball here. Now what's the pattern for this? Normally it's a stair, but this should do. <laughs> Maybe a uh, to finish it off. Yeah, I think that works. All right, then we need to. Is this right? Um, let me jump over on my other board to see if this is actually correct. <laughs> All right, no, it's, it was correct. I just derped on my. Uh, on viewing it um, you know what that's still down there <laughs> uh, there we go we need some cobblestone slabs and we need some 
Ooh, I think, actually think I want Nonal, Dark Oak, Spruce, Trap Doors. Because I think they look the best. Do we have those yet? No, we don't. <laughs> I didn't know we had those, didn't have those yet. That's, snap, that's snapshot stuff. Man, they really need to come out with this update, don't they? Uh, Alright, we'll use this as scaffolding for now. Um, one, two, three down. We get stone slab, or stone slabs right here, which means this is still that. There we go. And then. Eh, this is. Wait, you know what? <laughs> I think it's easier to place it this way. <laughs> there. And then to. Finish it off. There. Um. Okay. Now we still need to keep forgetting things. <laughs> Do this part, which isn't that difficult. It's just I think. This should do it. And this is some kind of um, I don't know how to call those. <laughs> God damn it, I'm not a native English speaker. Uh, but I think that will add a nice detail as it were to eat those first all right I think that looks nice as one of the options and then you have this pattern continued uh, over the entire wall I'm not uh, I'm, I'm not completely sold on it yet uh, but uh, I have another pattern to work out so uh, I'll be right back all right, <laughs> welcome back. Um, I switched texture packs, by the way. For some reason, my beta below texture packs keeps switching off. I noticed that when I was placing the other side, but I didn't mention it. Um, so I had Bailey, or I had Harrison come over over on Bailey's account that she just saw, and um, I had my second design built out over there. But it was we decided it was kind of too flat. It was more reminiscent of the outer walls, which are, you know, very flat and uh, stationary which we kind of want to have that impact like that that um how do you call it uh impressive like if you're standing there like on the ground like whoa those are some high walls but we don't need that over here we want some nice looking aesthetic please aesthetically pleasing walls which we decided was more uh this kind of style which i built first now, we did like the idea of having uh, a path on the wall, like through the middle. But as I said, we could not really work that in on this side. Uh, not on the outside, at least. But what we've thought of is having it on the inside here. Let me pop up. This is going to be gone, by the way. And have it like uh, this, so that you can... Like some sections you can look out. But uh, on other sections, it's behind the wall, so that from the outside it looks more like it's an actual wall, though, rather than uh, having a pathway through it. <laughs> Let me get rid of this here. Uh, actually, I think we need that there. Uh, so yeah, that's that's a kind of the idea. I'm going to fill it in even more. I need to see if it's possible to do it uh, alternating. So. No path, path, no path, path, no path, path, no path, path. Okay, so we can't do that because it'll look weird having not a path on the end there, but having a path on the end over there. So, pa no path, path, no path, uh, path, 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 no path. No, wait. Hmm? Okay, so how many are there? <laughs> um... One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, that's an even number, which is the problem. So four and five are in the middle. One, two, three, four, five. If you do those the same, then it should work out. So if those both have a path and we continue with no path, path, no path, should be good. All right, uh, let's work on that. I'll be right back. All right, ta-da! I really like how it turned out, actually. I liked it better than I anticipated. I thought the end side would look weird, especially in my resource pack, but it gives uh, it gives a, a nice little variety, I think. I need to change it up in some places because right there it looks a little bit weird and right there it looks like it doesn't want to come lower than the line it is right now. Uh, in the end I went for an alternating pattern just because I think it looks um, it looks messy enough for it not to be very repetitive. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what I went for in the end. Uh, of course the backside looks <laughs> very derpy. I haven't really worked on that yet, but the the walkway is in place. Oh, hmm, ah. <laughs> weird and being in the same episode. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it looks very messy. But the walkway is there. It, it goes switcheroony, and then uh, into that tower. And there's going to be another walkway up top. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for this episode. It's turning nighttime. It's uh, it's uh, time to end it. End it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always very much appreciated. Of course, as well, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And uh, I'll see you next time. Stay tasty. Bye, guys.